The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. Brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City. The name you've trusted for years. GEICO, the insurance savings you expect. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Total Car Care. Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Bollinger Shipyards. 75 years of delivering high quality vessels. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Hi everyone, Lee Burkeen traveling uh, the state of Louisiana at St. Augustine High School today. You're going to see a great show today. Behind me is a, uh, the history of St. Aug in New Orleans, St. Augustine. Um, you know, rise, sons of the, the gold and purple. Um, it says, get our chorus sound for the glory of St. Aug and the honor of our alma mater's name. Um, little history here, a lot of, you know, the Purple Knights is what they go by. You're going to get to see a lot of kids that we interview today. Uh, always wanted to come to New Orleans and, and come to St. Aug and show off a little bit of the school. Me and Jay are going to walk in and show off uh, the wall by the uh, principal's office, which shows all the honors and accolades of some of the great students that have come out of the school and, and people that have played different sports. Uh, but honored, you, you know, this school's had Leonard Fournette, Tyron Matthew, uh, several actors. Actually, um, the guy in Rocky Balboa who just passed away uh, recently, Apollo Creed, went to St. Aug High School at one time, just to give you an idea. But several people in, in, uh, in the music industry has come to the school, track, you know, football, basketball, baseball. Uh, We'll probably walk in here and show a little bit, too. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Augustine High School, the Purple Knights in New Orleans, Louisiana. Great tradition here in the opening. We we're going to have some uh, footage of the school. Uh, we're going to interview a lot of different recruits from different classes, seniors to be, juniors to be, class of 225, class of 226. A uh, lot of tradition. Um, the most tradition in the state, in my opinion, I don't know of a school in Louisiana with more D1 signees to go to the NFL and college and get degrees than St. Aug, uh, the Purple Knights. And uh, they have the greatest band in the state, maybe in the country. Uh, and all their sports programs are incredible. But when we come back, we're going to interview some of the recruits and we're going to uh, enjoy being here at St. Aug today. We'll be right back. Total Car Care, Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen here, uh, the host of the Sports Scouting Report podcast, also owner of Louisiana Football Magazine in 1997. Uh, started it out of the apartment here uh, in Baton Rouge. And uh, our first guest, one of the, the, the great young recruits in the country right now. Actually, he's got two years of high school football left. Amazingly, he's a class of 226. And we're gonna interview a young man, Jakeem Stewart. <laughs> How you doing? How are you? Doing good. Man, you've got two years of football left. Yes, sir. You're already 6'6". Yes, sir. 272. Yes, sir. As of today, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> and what's it like being recruited as a young man with two years of high school left? Um, it's great. Um, you know, it started in seventh grade. Um, me just going out with Coach Clyde and Sean, just traveling, you know, all across the country, just going to camps. Um, I feel as though it's, it's great being recruited, but you got to stay focused, you know, be humble with the process. It's going to be a long journey. So if you just remain focused and just stay disciplined, I feel you're going to do a great job. I had a chance to see you play this past year. Yes, sir. Zachary. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all played Zachary like 10 times, it seems. Yes, sir. But you were, you were considered the number one defensive end in the country. Yes, sir. Some people like, well, you might be, I still think you'll be a DN <laughs> when you're done. <laughs> but your, your, your ability to uh, get off the ball is like some of the players Coach Valdez has coached in the past, yeah. Savion Jones, yeah. who's at LSU from St. James. Y'all yeah, yeah. built similar. Yeah. But now it's a matter of not messing it up, right? <laughs> not getting too big yes, sir. and keeping your quickness. Yes, sir. And um, colleges, tell everybody, because everybody in the country's basically offered you. Yes, sir. But talk about LSU first, because we have a lot of LSU people. What do you, what do you think of LSU? I think LSU is doing a good job. Um, LSU is rebuilding the program, what it's back to be. Um, 
with them getting Coach Bo Davis back in there, I think that's a good, great pickup. And uh, the defensive coordinator, I think that's going to be a great job. Uh, with Coach Kelly, I feel like Coach Kelly doing a great job just mentoring the young men because they've got great character, you know, like Tyree Adams, you know, he's an alumni here. Yeah. He just went there. I feel like Tyree doing a great job with just on how he building his body and on how he building his character. But LSU is doing a great job, and I feel like they're going to do a great job this football season. Tari Adams only 6'7", right? 295, <laughs> yeah. 300, whatever he is now. Yeah, it was great practicing against him. <laughs> yeah, that's right, when you started out. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt that LSU has two Purple Knight grads and uh, Cortez Hankton no, and Frank Wilson. No, sir, don't. Uh, then Coach Frank, he, he the one actually recruit me more. I okay. feel like Coach Frank, he's a great, great person, you know, great character. Uh, you just learn a lot just by talking to him, just getting the knowledge from him, you know. Okay. So, I mean, that, that's a great job. All these schools that have called you, who are the other schools that, that you like so far? I know it's early. Yeah, um, I actually got, I'm considering a lot of schools right now. Um, I might just drop my top 15. Okay. Um, I got USC, um, Oregon, Texas, Alabama, Georgia, and a lot of more other schools. Ohio State, you know, Michigan, okay. Auburn. Um, it's a lot of schools. Um, I feel as though it's, it's great just being in this process and being in this recruitment right now. I feel as though we better take another step a notch. Did you take a marketing class already? No, sir. You're pretty good at this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, what's it like going to school at St. Aug? I um, mean, very disciplined school, yeah. Catholic school. Yeah. I heard they even teach Chinese here, Mandarin. <laughs> yes, Is that sir. true? Yeah, foreign languages. Do you know Chinese? No, Spanish, a little Spanish. A little Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's great going to St. Aug. Um, St. Aug teach you a lot of things that you need to know be before you go into life. I'm happy I came here. Um, I had other decisions, but I chose the school specific because of the background and history. And I felt as though I could bring it back just to what it was, you know, the pride. Yeah. So St. Aug is great. So me just being an alumni, like, it opened up a lot of doors. So for the young people to just come here and just get knowledge from, you know, Coach Dixon, because he's still here. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's great. So St. Aug is a great school. It, it teaches a lot of things, and I feel as though. For your, for, your, for your child is going to develop him into a young man. Before Leonard Fournette, there was Leroy Horde that came out of here, yeah. who I played against, <laughs> and he knocked me out of a game. Okay. <laughs> and then there was Leonard, and then Tyron Matthew, yeah. right? And then I, I remember Raynock Thompson that played here, um, Sean Jackson with the Florida State. Yeah. I mean, it was just, it's, it's one just after another, it's and, and it's basketball, too, yeah. the band. The band. I mean, on Easter, they're on, they're on like, California yeah. on TV, right? Yeah. But it was good to meet you, man. Yes, and sir, um, I know the next two years, just keep working hard. It sounds like you already know that. <laughs> yes, sir. And, and finally, Coach Valdez. What's it like meeting Coach Valdez, oh, being man. that he's the new head coach? Yeah, um, it was great. Uh, I actually met Coach Valdez my seventh grade year uh, when he was at St. James. Okay. So me and Coach Valdez have been having a relationship. <laughs> So Coach Valdez, he's a great coach. He's funny coach to be around, but he loved to work and he loved that he know I'ma work. So with that just just work and work and I feel like he's gonna do a great job into this program and what he got planned. And he's gonna just develop these these men, these kids into young men, not just about football, but about, about character, you know. Yeah. Grooming himself, letting him know like the little things matter. And he was a he was a big thing at Southern University. Yeah. And he was a lineman. <laughs> yeah, he it's was. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just having an old line coach here, like it gonna be a lot of trends game yeah. going on. <laughs> and uh, I remember when he played at O.P. Walker. Yeah. It's not O.P. Walker anymore, is nah. it? Is it Landry, L.B. Landry now? Yeah, L.B. Landry. L.B. Landry, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Good to meet you. You too. Good luck to you, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. We've got more recruits to interview. Coach Valdez is going to come on at the end. We're going to talk to Coach uh, Valdez also. We'll be right back. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Welcome back. Lee Burkane, your host, Sports Scout Report podcast, also owner of Louisiana Football Magazine. Believe it or not, we're going to do our 28th football preview this year. 28th. 28 years. Uh, 31 years in it. But you know what? I'm going to introduce to you someone that's been in the game for a long time. If you go back to his college coaching career, his playing days in college at Southern University, his high school career at O.P. Walker. Yeah, O.P. Walker, not L.B. Landry. And uh, was a heck of an offensive lineman at Southern University. Loves Southern University. He's an alumnus. But now he's the new head coach at St. Aug in New Orleans. Very excited for him. Excited for St. Aug. Coach Valdez. Robert hey, Valdez. Been a long nice time. Nice seeing man. you, man. How's mom doing, man? Mom, and I, I know we're on, we're on basically tape TV, but mom passed. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, but it's been about I'm a year. I'm sorry. But you love my mom. I know yes, that. Yes, I did. Because every time we had a show... My mom, Dolores uh, Thompson, 
would have food. Yes. And I remember and the desserts and the desserts. And, the, and this is when we did it at the Cox studio. Right. Jay was actually, who's our camera guy now, he right. was actually there. Right. But we'd have that big room, Robert, and mm -hmm. remember how much food we'd yes. have? Yes, my condolences, by the way. But no, I yeah. do remember. I, no, other than you, you know, that was the best part for me. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't good. But I told I you, good. I said, look, if you come to Baton Rouge, we're going right. to feed you good. Right. We'd now. have pizza, right. jambalaya. Mm -hmm. We'd have gumbo. We had good food. Good, good time. food, man. Good food. Hang out, good. lock the door, yeah. and yeah. talk. Talk ain't well. Today, uh, you know, we we trying to put all this in ten minutes, uh, mm -hmm. five hours. Your, your short time that you've been here at St. All, Robert. Mm -hmm. I've I've always respected the school back since the '80s. Mm -hmm. Growing up, you grew up in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. You know the school. Mm -hmm. You get the job, and now you're here. What is it like? knowing that you're the head coach at St. Aug now, I mean. I tell you what, it's um, <clears throat> really it's, it's unreal a little bit because like I said, I am a New Orleans kid, went to Old Prairie Walker, um, but it was, St. Augustine was always looked at with so much high regard and prestige, um, you know, and it was, you know, when I decided that I wanted to come back home, there were other opportunities and whatnot, and uh, lost some friends by my decision, but ultimately I, I just feel like this is, uh, this is a job that's one of the top jobs in the state of Louisiana. And, and it's not really all about football. It's just basically right. the, the, the standard about which the school was open and the principles and the core beliefs and the things that we have in place uh, were just aligned with a lot of things that I, that, that I believe in. That's what I was going to ask you because I've always known you as a disciplined guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, fair, strong, tough. This fits you. Yes, it does. They already know this. It's in the building. These it, kids already know. Correct. So they, you, that's a good fit, like you said. It's a very good fit. Uh, we have tremendous, uh, mm -hmm. administration is wonderful, um, you know, from top to bottom. And a lot of people don't know that, you know, St. Aug has, has uh, multi-tiered levels of leadership and uh, very, very supportive. Uh, our parents are, are, are wonderful. Um, of course, parents, most of the times, you know, overzealous about their own kids, but right. uh, like I said, so far so good. We haven't played a game yet, right, so I'll right, see how the water, right. how the water feels right. when we play in the season. But uh, no, it's, it's just a great opportunity, and for me, uh, stepping back away from the college level, um, what a wonderful place to be at than a place like this. That's pretty much it, 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 we run it like a college. I want to. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, I'm gonna ask Robert about all the players he's coached: Savion Jones, St. James. He had great players at Scotlandville, Kelvin Joseph. Mm -hmm. People know the, the Dallas Cowboys. Even McKinley, he coached great players there. Uh, West St. John. Mm -hmm. I mean, O.P. Walker, where he played. Southern University, where he played. Um, we'll be right back, and we'll talk more about St. Aug, the school, too. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen, your host of Sports Scouting Report Podcast. I'm joined by Robert Valdez, the head football coach at St. Aug, St. Augustine High School in New Orleans. And I want to, before we get going, I, I, I wanted to, I want to thank Robert for mentioning my mom. Because, you know, when people pass, you, you don't hear the name again. Right. We do. Right. But showing love and, and appreciation of my mom was, that's big. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I, 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 wanted to just, that. I wanted to thank you. I'll never forget that. You know. Dolores LeBlanc Thompson, my mom, <laughs> appreciate it. 27 years with the magazine uh, and the show, we had the show for 12 years on Cox and Etel. Um, so we're talking about your job here. Um, Savion Jones was one of the best in the state, DN for you, St. James. You did a great job at McKinley. You did a great job at Scotlandville. You had Kelvin Joseph and some other players. One's running track at LSU, right, from Scotlandville. Uh, Dorian Dillon. Dorian Dillon. Dorian Dillon. And Levi Lewis is actually playing in Barcelona. Went to UL. He went to UL. Quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, you've had several. And then you got all these young guys here. It's not like you've not had talent before is my point. Mm -hmm. And 5A is so hard. But like you said, discipline and effort and being strong and, and being committed overcomes a lot. It does. And I mean, we, 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 we're running the gauntlet here because of our mm -hmm. schedule and the people we play. And uh, I've been blessed. I really have been blessed to have uh, a career that I've been, you know, God has played so many good young men, um, 
to work with me, you know, all of the stops. But the funnest job that I ever had, nobody knows about it, not too many people know about it, was when I stepped away from high school and was a head coach at West Temple Middle School. Nobody knows about I that. I don't even remember that. Nobody knows that because wow. when uh, my wife became pregnant with our second daughter, I, I just needed more time because it was just us. And uh, uh, I was supposed to go with Jabbar Jaluk the car. Wow. And Jabbar and I are good friends, and I turned him down and I and stayed in Thibodeau and took the job at West Thibodeau Middle School. And we won the Paris Championship wow, I for didn't the know first that. time I in a long that. time. So that's that's the most fun I ever had as a head coach. And you got to spend time with your young daughters yes, at the time. Yes, so my baby girl, was, she would just go around practicing and tell me who was cursing, and that was her job. <laughs> So, and Jabbar Jaluk, I'm just thinking, he yeah. was your teammate at Southern, too. He was too. my teammate at Southern, yes. And he played, he played St. Aug. Yes, yeah, and we talk all the time. He's very, very, uh, to me, he's a, he's a mentor, someone that I talk to a lot. He's at, he's at the University of Florida, and, and actually he mentored me when, when he was a senior when I came at Southern and, and whatnot, and it's crazy how things go in circles. Uh, I'll share a story for the people watching, which is good for podcasts, and Coach Valdez. I was in an airport in New Orleans about 13 years ago. Jabbar was working at Louisiana Tech. We're at a coffee shop in the airport. He's, him and John Simon, Coach Simon, are sitting there, whose son's real good. Yeah, yeah. Played, you know, coach at Arizona mm -hmm. State. And I'm like, Jabbar, where are you going? Uh, I'm working for Louisiana Tech, but I'm, I got an offer when I go to Nashville. Yeah. We're going to coaches convention. We catch the flight coming back. I said, what you doing? Oh, um, I'm at Oklahoma State or one of those schools. <laughs> I said, you're at Oklahoma State? He said, yeah, I got signed up. Yeah. Before, we, before the plane touched, I said, he said, Lee, I got to tell you, I'm not even Oklahoma State anymore. Where you at? LSU. Yeah. He, was LSU. he said, I got LSU already stole me away from Oklahoma yeah, State. Yeah. I said, that's it's crazy. crazy. But the crazy, I think it was, um, it was Texas Tech. Texas Tech, right, Texas right, Tech. right, right. Love it. But a lot of people don't know about you. And what you did for the kids of Louisiana was when we were going to AFCA convention, you used to be at the bottom of the steps with, where the coaches would come from registration right. table and you were passing out. Right. Uh, VHS tapes. Right. And play you remember profiles that. and cars. I remember because I stumbled in. I would see you. My younger, those. like I said, my yeah. younger days. Yeah. I had a backpack too, and we both right. and I said, you know what? And I and I think that you know God's work is it is what it is, and it's crazy how a lot of these guys, you know, um, you know, their steps are already guided, and and what happens and whatnot. Like I said, and Jabbar is crazy because Jabbar had just got the job at Texas Tech, and before he could even spend time at Texas Tech. He was already being summoned uh, to LSU and whatnot. And then, and he, then he goes to UL and he follows Billy Napier, Billy goes to, Napier Florida to Florida. And he's, and he's assist, ass, assistant or associate head coach and a uh, uh, great, great coaching career, great, great the, guy to talk the, to. The coaching tree with St. All, Jabbar Jaloup, David mm -hmm. Johnson, mm -hmm. college coach. Right. Um, Hankton, Cortez Hankton. Cortez Hankton. Hankton. Uh, Frank Wilson. Frank and there's Wilson, several other ones. Jamal Fobbs. And then you know, Frank and, uh, Daggs, the head coach Frank, of McDonald's 35. Yes, there's a lot. I mean, you know, I think that it's, it's, it's indicative of the you know principles and values of the, what the school was built for was to develop leaders and when you have these guys that are coaching at these various levels and all that they're just exemplifying the, the principles that they were taught here which is you know to serve and to lead so uh, this place is, is basically when they leave here we want to make sure that they have that we're going to take one more. We're going to have another break. We're going to make this his own show, Robert. <laughs> this is going to be me and Robert one show. No. But we're going to come back, and I want to ask Robert, mm -hmm. because the LSU fans want me to ask, mm -hmm. your young defensive end, Stewart, mm -hmm. your opinion, because you've coached some great ones. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I already know your answer, but when we come back, <laughs> Coach is going to tell us about some of his players at St. Ong, what he knows already mm -hmm. and where they are. We'll be right back. Total Car Care, tire shop and automotive repair in Baton Rouge. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football Magazine, host of Sports Scouting Report. Hit the free subscribe button. Uh, if you're a St. Aug fan watching, your first time viewer, help us grow. I mean, we, we're, our goal is to get 10,000 this year, and then that'll pay for everything we're doing, and we'll hit another level. We'll start doing documentary work. I'll start doing one a day. Um, but right now, we're just trying to do what we can and do a couple a week. We're at St. Aug today. This is going to be a couple of weeks worth of shows, which I, <laughs> I thank Coach Valdez for getting these kids out of class not too long. I don't want to make the professors mad, but mm -hmm. we interviewed them. Uh, getting to your players, Coach. Um, you got a DN who's going to be a junior. He's a 226 grad. He's been playing a long time already. The big Stewart kid who's only mm -hmm. going to be a junior, that's 6'6", 280, lean. Yeah. You've had Savion, who was number one player in the state of mm -hmm. St. James. Mm -hmm. 
you already told me what you thought, but you know, kids aren't polished yet. They show it, but they're not. I mean, he's got so much more to show, right, Coach? Right, right. I mean, this this young man has tremendous upside. Um, has a passion for the game. Has a passion to learn. Um, you know, I'm gonna get on him because I'm not ready to put him on Savion's level. Right, 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 right. Because right. Savion went through his senior yeah, year Sav- and all that. Savion was just a, he was just a sponge, and yeah. and then a tactician, a kid that you know that that whatever we put in, he did it on the field, and um and but Jakeem can do that. Jakeem has the ability to do that. He has the athleticism, he has the the length, which yeah. is what you look for and whatnot, and um you know he's doing it. In this league, and you know he's doing it with, like I said, we we if we don't hide behind the fact that we're probably gonna have the toughest schedule in the state, if not, you know, yeah. arguably. But um, the competition that he's doing it against is is gonna be probably the best that's presented. And I think that, um, like I said, just you know, looking forward to him to lead and um, be able to you know just cause havoc and be disruptive. Incredibly athletic for a big guy his mm-hmm. age. Um, if he if he once he hits the ceiling, he'll be one of the top ten D linemen I've ever seen in the state DNs. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, coach knows he's got a lot a lot more time ones. left. Yeah, he got. Thank God though. Yeah, I don't and, have to worry about it, blocking him at practice. And though. then you know that the the, the the River Pair shared mm-hmm. Tyson Jackson was pretty good right. at West St. Uh, John. Tyson Jackson could play anywhere in the state. I mean, and that's the thing. Like I said, here, um, you know, it's, 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 it's levels, and I think that there's not too many places in the world. Like the River Parishes. Right. And I always right. tell my people, shout out to my beautiful downtown Vashu folks and whatnot. DeWan and Laurent Landry at Hanville. <laughs> yeah, Hanville. Destra Han, Ed Reed, Ed Reed, Reed at Destra Han. From, they got players. Yeah. Not only do they have players, but they have titles. Right. They have titles. Hall of Famers. And Hall of Famers and, and all those guys and, and whatnot. And then here at, at St. Augustine High School, with all the guys that walk these hallways and the things that they've done and the guys that we have, not only in NFL, uh, in, in coaching and in college coaching, but in, in, in the real world with the doctors, lawyers, and you know, what anything magicians, that we want. I mean, yeah, uh, everything people in the entertainment business, right? Right, when you took the job, Robert, mm-hmm. is there one former St. Aug football player that did reach out to you since you took the job, like out of Tyron Matthew, Fournette, you know, um, all these guys that have come out of here, Tyrone Hughes, right. I, I, I saw Tyrone to? Hughes at I think uh, one of the balls, and okay. he, he told me congratula- yeah, congratulations. Um, one of uh, um, Len Fournette's guys that 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 he's kind of real close with me. We t- we've talked a lot. I haven't directly okay. talked with him, um, but I, 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 if I, I you know Leonard Fournette, I mean not Leonard Fournette, but um, Frank Wilson. Frank Wilson. Uh, yeah. We've we've had great conversations. Cortez. Cortez Hank, and, and I we've already had great conversations with these guys that I. I, I looked up to a lot, of course, Jabbar Jaluk and those guys. And we've talked, um, and it's, it, and just the thing about this this place is that those doors are open, and uh, those guys want to, you know, the, the approach that they have is they are basically a sit back and you know use us as a resource type of approach, yeah. and then uh, yeah. whenever you need something, just come. Um, but like I said, the biggest thing is just to honor the legacy of what they've left here, and then make sure that we try to grow on that and then build from it. I like what your band director said earlier. Oh, yeah. They're awesome. I love that the band wants to work with the football coach. They're awesome. Because y'all got a lot of athletes that want to play right. in the band. You know? Man, I tell you, one of the best times I've ever had was walking the parade route behind the band. I had fun. Wow. I mean, like I said, it was, it was a little bit of work. A little first, Kool-Aid, little Kool-Aid. Oh, right. man. It was a, <laughs> Gatorade, 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 water. Gatorade, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, they, they, I'll tell you what. It's, um, it was so refreshing to see the amount of respect that the band has. In, in New Orleans, and you would see the crowds, and you know, there's the looks yeah. and, and, and admiration as they march the streets of New Orleans. And, um, you know, they, they, they have an excellent program that we're, we're basically, with football, just trying to basically catch up to them. I got to ask you this because your last job, you left high school football, you went to Grambling College, mm-hmm. and you played at Southern. That's unique. It is. You were a Southern all conference offensive lineman, well, and you took it, you're at Grambling. <laughs> And uh, I got to ask you this, because the, the late Eddie Robinson uh-huh. is everywhere over there. Right, right. What was it like to, I mean, you played it's, against him, it's, uh, but you were finally over there to coach. The crazy thing was I turned Coach Robinson down. I turned Coach Robinson down. You to, turned Eddie Robinson I down? I turned Eddie Robinson down to go to Southern. Um, he recruited me, and the reason why was because they wanted me to play fullback. Oh. 
and I didn't want to play for the wrong right? word at the wrong yeah, time. I, no, I, I it wasn't. I, they, um, and it wasn't really the wrong anything. I just I, I love playing offensive line. I loved everything about offensive line. Um, and um, even the coach, Coach Manning, that was recruiting me at Grambling, uh, wanted me to come in. That's when football was transitioning yeah. to more quicker guys rather than mm. bigger guys. Um, but Pete Richardson came to Southern, and when he first got hired, he said, hey, man, you've been identified as a guy that we, we really like. And it was closer to home. Yeah. It, was, it, was, yeah. it was ideal for my parents and whatnot. But being able to coach at Grambling was so fulfilling to me because walking in hollow ground that a guy like the, 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 a lot of people, you need to read the book. There's a couple of books yeah. on Eddie Robinson of how, you know, Eddie Robinson, a lot of people don't know that he was the band director. He was the head basketball coach. He was the and, head baseball coach. And you coached McKinley. He went to McKinley. He went to McKinley. No, yeah. people don't really realize <laughs> don't he went to McKinley High School. He went School. to McKinley High School. He went to McKinley High School and whatnot. But he did so much uh, for football. Yeah. And, and 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 like I said, and he just did it, and and uh, and and without you know any complaints or whatnot. And so uh, the crazy part about being in Southern Hall of Fame and loving Southern uh, is that now I'm <laughs> I'm torn a bit because now I have Graham right, fan right, in my right, blood. Right. Right. And so I just feel I can't go wrong. One of my favorite players of all time. He grew up not far from me, Doug Williams. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Super Bowl MVP, the Redskins. Late in his career to see just, him get that ring. They just put his name on the field at Grambling. So it's the, the, the it's Eddie Robinson Stadium, but the Doug Williams and Shaq Harris football field. Um, and just a guy that just, you know, broke all the barriers. And the guys that are playing today gave him an opportunity to do those things in and, and NFL. And uh, like I said, it's just, I, I really believe that it's, I'm, I'm living a dream. Mm. And, uh, you know, like Full I said. Full circle, huh, for, Coach? Yeah, I, I just, like I said, I can... You know, whenever it comes to an end, I will say that it's been a, a fulfilled life. One thing people want to know, maybe more on a high school fan mm-hmm. level, mm-hmm. maybe just people who follow prep football, mm-hmm. what is your envisions of an offense at St. All? Because the last few years <laughs> it's been more run. Uh-huh. Right When Fournette was here, it was 50 mm-hmm. times a game. Mm-hmm. When it was post Fournette, it was all spread. All spread, It was right. never one, of the, it was always one or the other. Right, right. But it, you look at I, any balance, maybe? It's, it's what, the crazy thing about it, if you look at my previous pass, um, it depends on the, their quarterback. Uh, it started with Dre Joseph, then Austin Howard, then, like I said, you had uh, the West St. John, John guys and whatnot, and then, then you had, um, you know, Shamar Smith, yeah. and then Levi Lewis, St. James, and Scotland James Scotlandville. Scotlandville. We've always had that leader, mm-hmm. and based on what that leader can do, then our offense is whatever scores. So I, I, I tell people we don't bind ourselves. I personally want to run the football, but I, I, we have some really, really good, talented guys here that, that, that play receivers that we got to get the ball to them. Yeah. We have some athletic running backs and we have athletic offensive lines. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to be multiple. We're going to line up in some spread sets. We're going to get under center. We're going to get physical. And, um, you know, we, we're going to do the things that our talent lends us to do. I don't know of a high school that's had three better running backs in the history than Tyrone Hughes, Leroy Horde, and Fournette, and Sean Jackson. And then you still had when the four horsemen guys were here, where they had uh, way back. Fives and Sean Rose. And yeah, way from, back in and the 60s and way 50s. Back. And, well, I mean, that, and, you know, Burton Burns was a running back here. Right, right. And he was Frank well, Wilson. Frank was. Wilson was a running back here. So it's, it's definitely a lot of. Um, great mentors to follow and uh, like I said the more and more our student athletes understand those guys that did it before they it, it gives them a chance of ownership and responsibility um, but no we, 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 we have extremely tough schedule this 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 Catholic League has his you know have some has some goats in it man they have oh, yeah. some really really good coaches and uh, we just got to prepare our young men for every game night you know just to be able to get the best from everyone we well, like to say if you play in the toughest district come playoffs it's easier. Yeah. Right. I hope so. Right. <laughs> right. You hope so anyway. I hope I'll see him again. Right. You know, yeah, I, I'm glad they move in in one way. I don't like the mm-hmm. I don't like the split. Mm-hmm. But at least some teams are moving in yes. to make uh, the pool keep it away from it. being the same, the same teams playing yeah. in the playoffs. Right. Because right. the before the format wasn't a Catholic League, mm-hmm. you were gonna play the same, same team teams. twice. You may play somebody week ten and play them in the first Again, round. right away. Again, right and away. So yeah. And it's, it's, it, it's tough because, I mean, like I said, you, you, you can't hide so yeah. much, you know, whatnot. But uh, 
it's uh like I said, it, it's gonna be very very interesting. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great preparing these kids for that and uh, being able to just go out there and try to you know execute our plan. I gotta ask you this for the fans. Tell mm -hmm. me your opinion on the new Tulane coach. If you have one, I don't I know if you him. met him yet. And then the I new and then LSU's Coach Kelly. Uh, well, like Co Co Coach Kelly to me is, is is a guy that I can see myself hanging out with outside of football. <laughs> you know All right, that's good. Yeah. And um, you know. The, the coach John at, at Tulane, uh, you know, he's uh, he, he's a fireball type of guy. Okay. High energy. We sat down and talked. Good and hire, then. Great hire. Great hire. I I I I I just love his passion. I love what you know. You can sit down and there's different strokes and different folks. You right. know, you can feel his energy and yeah. you can feel his drive and and that it will exude into you know his program. And I, I think Tulane's in good hands. Robert. Final shout out, just so the people that okay. admire you the most, give a shout out to your family. Oh, no doubt. I mean, like I said, all the work you yeah, put yeah, in, all no the. Doubt. I mean, like I said, you know, I tell you what, my family is really the MVPs because of you know my career and the, the past that we've taken. My wife Leah, you know, and uh, she, she, I, I tell her all the time, she knows more football than, than most guys, you know, because she's been with me since college. You know, she's been with me since college. My daughters, you know, uh, Lorraine, and uh, she's got, got, I got a grandson now, so he, he has no choice but to be great, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and then my, my youngest daughter, Raina, is in, at Tennessee State University, and uh, she's, she's in biology and going into a pre-med and whatnot. So um, uh, mom and dad are, are, are still here, and I get, I get a chance to go see mom and dad as, as much as often, and my sister's in Houston, and sister-in-law in Atlanta and, and another one in Boston and whatnot. So our, our support system is, is very, very solid, you know, but uh, like I said, and it, it, it takes um, for a great football coach. I don't consider myself great yet. I still think I got a long Lots way to go. Sure. But yeah. I think that the good thing is that, like I said, my wife has been right there for me and my kids have been right there for me. And then now we got a, he's going to be almost two in the football. I don't know how, the, the toughest job is going to be containing him on game night. Because yeah. that's yeah. how likes to be all over the place. Well, Coach needs a lot of tickets for the games now. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't know how to, I do no ticket requests. No ticket. He needs tickets. No. <laughs> Coach, thank you. Thank you, man. I want to thank you. everybody at St. Aug, St. Augustine High School for allowing us to do this because they're, they're serious about academics. You don't don't just float in here. You know, no, you got to no. set it up. You got to get with coach, get with the AD, give yeah. the principal. Yes. That's the way it should be done. Yes. And we're in the library. We want to thank the librarians for allowing us to be in here, bring our equipment, and interview all these young men. And uh, the, I even got the band director today, yes, coach. Yes, sir. We got a bonus one. We got a bonus one. And uh, good luck to you, coach. Thank you. Good luck to you. Keep going, man. You do a great job. Yeah. Thank you. We'll see everybody uh, really soon. Tell everybody who you are. Sure. Hi. Good morning. My name is C. Magzio Moultrie. I'm a uh, I'm an alum, St. Augustine High School, 1992. I'm currently teaching English 4 and English 5. I uh, taught a lot of subjects in the building with, uh, on the football staff uh, years ago. Um, enjoyed being in the building, glad to be back home. This is my, uh, what, we're in year three and a half, two and a half back, so enjoying being in the building. We just had a uh, great start to uh, revival, our annual revival last okay. night. So, very interesting. Well, we, this is not even planned. We're glad to bump into you. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you mind? We're going to come in here. Can you join us and tell us what this is about for the people watching? Sure. Not We're coming problem. here. So this is, tell, tell you can help us here because sure. the coach was telling me Valdez about all the accolades of St. Aug. Yeah. So this, this um, wall of fame, as I would call it, or, or uh, academic excellence, this is uh, the brainchild of uh, our president and our current principal, so Austin Taylor and Ms. Lasana Cambright. So here's just a list of our, our presidential scholars, okay. um, valedictorians, uh, Purple Knight Awards, which have been going on for years, then uh, salutatorians, and then our national merit scholars. So, Tell me uh, if I'm right or wrong, Coach. Yes. This is Otis Washington? Absolutely, that's the, Coach The Wash. famous Otis Washington? Absolutely, that's Coach Wash. So Coach Wash actually coached at Southern University uh, some time ago. And then this is Coach Darren Dixon. Who wow, is the, he's still uh, here. Yeah, this is the uh, current vice principal of discipline and uh, um, dean of students, if you will. But that's from one of the state championship football games. I think, I don't know if that was 78 or 79. Okay. Um, and then on the wall, I think Mr. Hemp was on this wall, who's in the, who's the band. Uh, he was on one of these walls. 
uh, somewhere. There's just a lot of stuff going on there. There, are guys from. And over here, this oh, is yeah. uh, this is the actual night. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So this is purple night right here. Um, kind of our standard one of one of uh, I think three or four that are in the building, and then behind you. Uh, well, yeah, there's Mr. Hemp right here. Okay. Um, and these are the classmates of one of our uh, theology teachers, Mr. Stephen Young. And then, let's see, I can't remember everybody's face. Yeah, but you're helping us. I appreciate you oh, doing yeah, this. Oh, yeah, no problem. My pleasure. My pleasure. And then the, I think uh, one of these basketball teams is the 1998 team. And I don't know if uh, the 95 team is on here. That's the team that won a national championship for basketball. Okay. And so uh, one of the members of that team is also in the building, uh, Coach uh, Wade Mason. And Avery went here, right? Yeah, yeah, Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson. Yeah, 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 he did. And this, this coach was showing me this the other day. Yes, sir. And then Jay will get this, but this is uh, this was gifted by LSU's coach, Hank Hankton. Yeah, yeah. Cortez, yeah. who's a graduate. Absolutely, absolutely. So we, we play this when we have uh, guests in the building and just kind of a way of uh, welcoming them into the building and and saying thank you and letting people know that they're in the building. Man, I'm glad we ran into you. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> look, Coach Valdez had to go back to class. Yeah, absolutely. And we absolutely. just we just interviewed all the a lot of the players. Nice. About twelve, right? Nice. Twelve players at least. Nice. Who are all going to play college ball in the yeah, next what yeah. two three years? Yeah. Coach Valdez and I have been knowing each other. Well, we we, we attended Southern University together. They're about five or six of us who all at Southern University. Tell everybody what time. you teach again, because that's oh, important. Okay, sure, I teach English for and English That's five. important. Yes, sir, it is, it is. Yes, sir. I know you got to get back to class. Hey, thank you all so much. Appreciate you. Thank you for helping yeah, us. Yeah, no problem. You're, no you're going to be in the uh, his, history uh, side oh, of the show. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. All right, thank you. All right, yeah, no problem. Thanks for watching the Sports Scouting Report with Libra King.